Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're lighting up in the cheap seats. You're watching Cigars Daily. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but I find that there's nothing quite as exhilarating as sitting down at the kitchen table at the end of the month with all the bills and saying, how in the hell are we going to survive another month of this? That certainly seems to be the position that more and more people are finding themselves in as the prices of everything just inch their way up and up and up. Somewhere north of reasonable for most things these days. It's the kind of thing that makes you want to push away from the table, sit on the back porch, light up a premium blend, and forget that the rest of the world even exists. It's actually one thing about premium cigars I've always been a huge fan of is that it's an every day, every man's luxury, the kind of thing that regardless of the socioeconomic status and even the status of the market out there, people can enjoy a premium cigar, at least in America, at reasonable and affordable prices. Now, of course, I'm going to ask you to drop a comment down below. What is your go-to brand or blend when you're pinching pennies? What is the one that you grab at and say, this is still a reliably good cigar, good construction, nice flavor, something I get a lot out of and certainly doesn't break the budget. You know, good cigar companies, they've got cigars on both ends of the spectrum and probably even blends somewhere in between. But this is one thing that more and more cigar makers are working toward. There's a lot of like this ideology among cigar makers where they're like, we're going to be very fine luxury cigars, so we make the high-end stuff. Then they come out in the market and discover, oh my gosh, we're missing out on so many cigar aficionados who aren't going to spend absurd amounts of money on a cigar. And then they start putting out more affordable lines. The best cigar brands have already done this and I'm going to cover a few of those today. I'm going to show you a number of different cigar brands and their sort of nicer end cigars, some of the more premium stuff, along with some of the more affordable or dare I even say the cheaper stuff. These are cigars that are still good and allow people to stay into the art and hobby of cigars without crushing the budget and losing their house. So let's jump right in. Now the first one is a regular contender on Cigar Aficionado's top 25 list. And that is Oliva with their Siri V Milanio. This right here is Oliva Siri V Milanio Maduro Churchill. This cigar got an obscene like 94 rating from Cigar Aficionado. It was on the top 25 list. Oh, it got all the accolades. It was wonderful. And it's like a pretty pricey cigar. Certainly not as pricey as some of the other special occasion stuff out there. This is sort of the top end for Oliva cigars. But also, if you've already canceled your monthly subscription for Netflix, this is going to run you about what a monthly Netflix subscription is. And so it might put it out of the ballpark for you. At the same time, Oliva has made for a very long time Flor de Oliva. And I love this because it is a long filler premium blend that clocks in right around at what you pay for a gallon of gas. And I'm not talking about 2022 gas gallon prices. I'm talking about now, right before the election, when they make it all work so it looks and feels good. This is a cigar that you can find in a Connecticut and a Sun Grown and Maduro wrapper, so there's a variety of experiences with the blend, but the thing comes in with a beautiful premium experience. They don't burn super fast and gives a reliable flavor that'll let you know you get your money out of it. Now, among cigar brands that I find to be pretty well universally loved is My Father Cigars. My Father's got a lot of different premium blends in their catalog. There's cigars that people find the construction, the flavor, and complexity is good pretty much through and through. I don't meet people that don't like these cigars. The issue is this. It's the cost of a hamburger in a restaurant, which is coming up on like $16 pretty much nationwide. $16 for a hamburger? That feels like a crime. And at the same time, the cigar is not exactly the price of a hamburger. They're a little more affordable than that, but the prices keep inching up more and more for that premium experience. And that's why my father also creates amazing, affordable brand called Tobacco Baez. This cigar has been made for a very long time by my father's cigars. And again, clocks in at about, I don't know, maybe a third of the price of the judge. Now, it's not a third of the quality, in my opinion. It's still a very good 
good cigar that has a lot going on in it. And for that reason, people find themselves picking up boxes of tobaccos by as when normally you could afford to pick up three, four, maybe a five pack of a cigar like the judge. And so at the end of the month, if the aficionado is trying to decide whether or not to buy one fast food hamburger or one or two cigars or a handful of cigars to carry them through a few days or a few weeks, the decision's simple and still keep the quality. And I have not been quiet on this channel about the fact that I am a big proponent of Cavalier cigars, but certainly the presentation alone tells you that this is a very nice premium blend. Hell, they've got 18 karat gold in the leaf, and before you start getting fancy and thinking, I'm going to cut off all those gold leaves and save up for another cigar, you can know that Cavalier also creates a line called Tres Delincuentes, a cigar that comes in at half the price of their regular premium lines and is outstanding on flavor and quality. One of the things cigar people talk about a lot is like value of flavor and experience versus price. Does a cigar's experience bat above the price point? Some cigars are not as good as what they cost. Like you buy it and you're like, oh my gosh, that was just not nearly as good for what I paid for it. And some of them seem just about right. It's like, yeah, I would smoke that cigar for what it costs again. The best cigars though are the ones that are like amazingly good for what they're paid for. And this is a great example of that. A cigar that comes in for what I think most people is a daily smoke price. This is another cigar that comes in three different wrappers. There's a Connecticut, a Habano, and a Maduro that each offer their own surprisingly complex flavor profile for being the economy line. And even the elite, most luxury cigar brands get this principle. Hell, one of my favorite top tier brands, Placencia Cigars, a five generation family of cigar makers who makes the Alma Fuerte with a 10 year aged wrapper. And by the way, a cigar that costs only a little bit more than a foot long sandwich these days. Have you tried to buy a foot long sandwich lately? The other day I went into a place, I tried to buy a foot long sandwich, $14 for a foot long sandwich. I remember when we were rocking $5 foot longs. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago. And now it's almost as much as like the elite 10 year age cigar, the one that you have when the baby's born or something like that. But even Placencia gets that things are getting tight and people are pinching pennies. Now, now, Placencia hasn't recently released this line, but their Reserva Original is about half the price of the high-end special occasion stuff and incredibly good. The leaf for this is grown in OSHA certified organic fields in Nicaragua, which really, as I think about it, kind of flips that organic thing on its head. The organic leaf cigar is half the price of the 10 year aged like crazy one. Uh, but certainly at the same time, gotta tell you, just cause it's organic doesn't mean that there's any kind of health benefits to it. It's got the same health drawbacks as every other cigar. And the FDA's got, by the way, a big thing about using the word organic in relations with a cigar. But Placencia still insists on growing the organic leaf. And what you get here is again, a nice complex and very well balanced cigar, especially for the price. Half the price of the special occasion stuff and I'm not sure that it's like half the cigar even. And I gotta tell you, this whole principle of economy cigars isn't lost on me even today after I've spent 10 years having unlimited access to the best premium cigars in the world. Even as I was creating my own premium brand of cigars, American Viking cigars, and blends like the Liga Zebra, a beautiful barber pole, and a number of other blends in American Viking, it was so important to me to cover this area of economy cigars because it's where I came from. I spent like nearly a debt, my first 10 years of cigar smoking, only being able to afford the absolute bargain barrel stuff that I could find just about anywhere. It's the whole reason that Rico Barato cigars even exist. These come in a Connecticut and Maduro wrapper. And it's, this is like a whole topic I really got to cover in this video, especially for people who are just getting into cigars. 
These are Cuban sandwiches, and you'll find a lot of these out there. A Cuban sandwich is technically still a premium cigar. It uses a whole leaf wrapper, a whole leaf binder, but it has some chopped up filler in the middle. middle. These are clippings left over from making other premium cigars in a lot of cases. What you find with these is that they burn a little bit faster than a long filler premium blend. The flavor profile also tends to be a little bit more simple. You're not going to find overwhelming complexity in a lot of Cuban sandwiches out there, but what you find is a reliably good flavor profile. And when you find a good Cuban sandwich, it is a nice, clean flavor. And that is something that I hold on to a lot. Good consistency from cigar to cigar and a nice, powerful, clean flavor. At the same time, these are cigars that can come in at a fifth the price of the other premium stuff, or sometimes even just like a third of the price. They tend to be a lot more affordable than your long filler premium blends. They fill in this whole category of cigar smokers who are looking for a cigar that they can have for every day or because it's what they can afford. I'll tell you, I spent so long where I was in college and then out of college doing church work. So I didn't really make money. And I, all I could afford to do was take my crappy little wooden desktop humidor and put about a brick of 20 cigars like this in it. But it made me feel like a rich man. And it was the first thing that gave me a real appreciation for the everyday man's luxury of premium cigars. And you'll find these economy blends, the cheap stuff, even in the catalogs of brands that have cult followings like Aganorsa Leaf with the La Validacion Corojo, or even better yet, the new Daily Edition Validacion Corojo. These cigars are good and they're especially good for the price. But at the same time, that price, my gosh, it's darn near like what a three pack of sodas is. Like soda's gotten obscenely expensive, by the way. That's just like, gone way over the top. But at the same time, Aganorsa has these whole lines of cigars like JFR cigars, a long standing line of cigars that still clocks in at about I don't know, 60% of the price of one of their full premium cigars and comes with a nice long filler blend that's handcrafted to produce a nice experience that can still give even the most pickiest of aficionados something to write home about. That's something that when you have access to a huge catalog of different leaf, like Aganorsa does, you can do. And I love that they're doing it. This is like JFR has become a whole brand all its own. They've got lots of different JFRs out there and a few of the more affordable ones really darn good now of course there are a whole lot more than that these are some of the ones that stand out to me so i'll ask you again to drop your comment down below what is the cigar that you go to when you're looking to shave a little bit off the budget you've already cut down on all the extra services and you stop paying for the apps on the phone and now you're like i still would like to have a cigar at some point and so i look to brand x or blend x when i'm saving a little bit of money let us know down there and i'll chat with you guys more of course check this video out on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.